there are millions of young creative minds around the world with a lot of free time on their hands, looking for directions. It's our responsibility to engage them in positive projects, creating opportunities for them to become actively engaged in shaping their futures for a better world. City Arts mostly works in the five boroughs of New York. However, with our program Young Minds Build Bridges that we started after 9-11, we reach out to the international community and connecting them. We have already reached over 62 countries in creating Pieces for Peace project. I'd like to thank CP so much for coming to Kenya. It's phenomenal. I didn't think that children would be able to express themselves so well. I hope this is just the first of the many projects that City Arts is going to have in Kenya. And I hope this is going to spread like a fire in a very positive way. Children from Kenya and from all over the world can network and they can know that they have a voice and they can express themselves. They don't necessarily have to stand on big platforms to say we need change uh, using microphones. They can just use the simple artistic way that they have uh, or the talents that they have to express themselves. The creative process actually starts in art workshops where kids are expressing their ideas and thoughts and they are creating their drawings, poems or paintings. This is the project where they create small artworks, six by six inches, but these small artworks are like a mosaic of the global thinking of our youth right on the website. We went furthermore and created four mosaic peace walls, already one in Manhattan in Harlem, a 300-foot mural that is now a backdrop to all the games of the community in the park, the second one in Israel with Arab and uh, uh, Jewish kids. Working on the wall was fun. It was a great experience. We worked on it all of us from different cultures. You can actually see the connection and the coexistence between Arabs, Jews and Muslims. I have to tell you I must congratulate you for what you've got done here because this is the kind of thing which sends a powerful message that we can live together, work together and do fun things together. It's a very good message. עם אירועים מאוד לא פשוטים מסביבנו, לחוות אה, אירוע שכולו שלום, אהבה, אחווה, ואני חושב שכולנו מרגישים שאנחנו שותפים לחוויה מאוד מאוד מיוחדת. The third one we created in Pakistan, where youth took it upon themselves to create a peace wall while a lot of uh, fighting is going on around them and the fourth in London on the first anniversary of the riots and we show them that we can come together in peace and give forgiveness and show love and this way to reach to each other. It's nice to take part and do something for the community and for the kids to actually see the wall being prepared and then see experience the end result as well. So, yeah, and this incredible mosaic peace wall there is acting like a backdrop to all their wonderful activities. I'm really happy because it's like a peace wall and it brings people together, it brings children's ideas together and then it takes it on the board and um, it's a really good project. And the fifth one, peace wall in Berlin, in the Mitte area, where Right by there runs the street of tolerance. Where else forgiveness is needed and peace than in Berlin? This wall, guarded by these two beautiful trees, standing almost like two Sabbath candles, like guardians for the wall. And I felt that this truly is a wall that cries for attention. 
uh, the people name this street the Grosse Hamburger Street uh, a street of tolerance because you have uh, the Jewish cemetery, the Jewish shul, neighboring uh, the uh, Catholic hospital and uh, the Christian church. So the name is Street of Tolerance, and especially for Berlin, it is a good idea to build bridges better than to erect walls. I see every project like a puzzle, and every puzzle really is created of different parts. The first part, and most important, is when we bring the artists and the children together and into art workshops. During these art workshops, they express their ideas, their thoughts, their meaningful desires um, in addressing the social and civic issue. And this is where the theme of the mural is formed. This part is very, very meaningful to us because we want to hear the voices of our children mostly. Well, I arrived to the school to make this workshop. He was sitting in front of his paper and not so sure like how to do, what to do. And I asked him, so what, what is your idea? And he said, I would like to, to make uh, two hands uh, holding each other, uh, one white and white, one black. I look at him and I realize that uh, my skin is white and his skin is black, so I, I just gave him hand. And he really got into it and he did really lovely sketch, maybe for the first time, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know whether they um, try to, to communicate about um, their roots, for example. But they say, my country is the best, or my nation is the best, or my religion is the best. And the others say, mine is the best. And the communication between them fa fails. My wish is to make them understand where they come from, but to accept that other people come from other spaces and they live together here. That is the name of the school too, of our school here. I just try to show that different regions and different kinds of natures come together in one place and um, yeah, what really is a peaceful picture for me. I think um, the peace wall can change minds because I saw that like the peace wall changed our minds so probably they can change um, the minds from other people who see it. A wonderful atmosphere here. Yes. Um, yes, all the people are together and they work at, uh, as one project. Um, yeah, I, I love it. This wall will be remind the people to have peace, to find peace, to share peace. All generations and all cultures and all religions that are working together and some people don't want it but we see a lot of people do. It's a wonderful emotion and together is better than alone and yeah. We are the world, I think. <laughs> a peace wall can promote love. It's a, it's a far better proposition than other walls in our lives. We think it's important to bring color to walls, bring diversity to our streets. It definitely facilitates interaction and um, dialogue. And um, I think in general, art is a good way to bring in cultures together? Yes, I will bring people maybe also from other cities and show them the wall because I think it's important that they know the story. The wall will show them that they have to make more of them and to bring it to other cities and other countries. You are making with this wall a permanent contribution to this incredibly significant spot. Right now it maybe feels like a lot of work, a lot of pasting, a lot of cutting, a lot of time in the sun in the summer. Uh, but when you come back years from now, you will know that this permanent mosaic was something that you made possible. That's a big deal.
I think that there's an impact that that is had when you go to a place that says um, such a memorial like this, and you come out, and there's a lot of different feelings that come out uh, from experiencing uh, this Jewish uh, graveyard nearby. And to come out and to see something that is so that has a potential to be so hopeful and so bright. On the wall, what for me besonders beeindruckend war, war das mit diesen Jugendlichen zu arbeiten, vor allem mit so Immigrantenkindern, die erst seit einem Jahr hier sind, die konnten alle nicht besonders gut Deutsch, wir konnten uns nicht so sehr gut verständigen, aber sehr, ich habe gemerkt, dass sie so sehr, dass es für die so wichtig war, hier an diesem Ort, mitten in der Stadt, ähm, einfach was machen zu können, dass sie ernst genommen werden, dass sie, ich habe die einen Vogel machen lassen, so zwei Jungs, der eine kam aus Guinea, der andere aus dem Irak, dann war da noch ein Mädchen aus Tschetschenien, die hatte sehr traumatische Erlebnisse und wie ich gemerkt habe, wie die so sich ernst genommen fühlen und hier angekommen sind in dieser großen Stadt und in Deutschland sich willkommen fühlen, dadurch, dass sie hier an der Wand mitarbeiten konnten. Look at that! This city art's peaceful created with 12 schools and two wonderful artists that led the educational process with volunteers from all over. This will be the connecting wall. Connecting wall for peace, for different cultures and different nationalities, and at the same time, connecting the past through the present, going into the future. We give this better wish and hope for the future into our youth hands and we hope that they will take this message and fly with this towards the future and make our world a better world. Eins, zwei, drei. Peace! <laughs> Yay! Danke schön! When Zippy asked us kids, what does the peace wall mean to you? Many things came to our minds. Besides its beauty, creativity, and spirit, it sends a message to me. More than 50 years ago, the Berlin Wall divided the city. We as kids never experienced this wall of war, but our answer to this wall of war is a wall of peace. For me, this wall is a connection to other countries and cultures. We are now a part of this great community. On this wall, we see a bridge to the future that connects the youth around the world for peace. We hope it will be a future of peace for all youth around the world. It's up to us. Through art, children can learn tolerance, love and forgiveness because when kids create, they do not destroy it.